Tonight, we are having spiral ham, scalped potatoes, sauce of the apple, ginger snap cookies, salad, whatever else anybody brings. And we're talking about my favorite subject, Jesus. More specifically, or specifically, the name of Jesus tonight. Don't miss tonight's broadcast. Comes on usually at about 10 minutes after 7 Eastern Time. Once everybody gets settled and, and we pray over people and things like that. Hey, I want to talk to you today about why many people, many Christians... Do not live in God's blessings. Most of them don't. Most Christians do not live in God's blessings. Now, salvation is a huge blessing. Absolutely. And believe me, everybody who is saved, that's... But, there's a lot more to it than that. Jesus said in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come that you might have life, that's salvation. The life, that's salvation. Without Jesus, there is no life. We're talking about eternal life, spiritual life, where your spirit becomes alive with the, with, with, with the spirit of God inside you. That's the life. But there's more to it. There's more to it. There's more to it. People, you know, so many people, especially God bless the Baptist. God bless the Baptist, huh? But they believe that that verse stops right there. I am come that you might have life. I am come that you might have life. But there's more to it. And that they might have it more abundantly abundantly let me tell you something folks if you're not living in abundance you are not living the life that Jesus came to provide for you I know a lot of people don't like to hear that. Probably some people have turned me off right now. That's okay. If there's one person staying with this, one person who says, I want that abundant life that Jesus came. I, I said, you know, years ago, I said, I am not going to be satisfied until I am living the abundant life that Jesus came to provide for me. I have said that for 25 years. I'm not going to be satisfied until I am living the abundant life that Jesus came to provide for me. And now I am. I would not put up with anything less. I don't have to. I'm not supposed to. God doesn't want me to. He doesn't want me to be satisfied with anything less than the abundant life. Jesus came. He said, he said himself in his own words, this is red letters in this Bible. He said, I am come that you might have life.
And I am come that they, he's talking about people, they might have life, and they, and that they may have it more abundantly. You look up that in, in the Greek, that actually means super abundantly. It means super abundance. What is, what does the word abundance mean? Now we have had tremendous rain here. Sunday night, I'm telling you what, it rained. For the last three weeks, we, we've had hurricanes here. We've had rain and my swimming pool behind me outside has had a super abundance of water in it. I had not had to take the hose and add any water. It overflowed. Water splashed out. There's a, a, an automatic drain system that keeps the pool at a certain level. So it doesn't get too full. When it gets up to the top, it, in a couple hours, it'll, it'll drain down to where it's supposed to be. Super abundance. More than enough. Super abundance means, I'm telling you, God is not a God of enough. He is a God of abundance. Too much. You look back through the Old Testament, and I'm telling you what, all of his people all lived in abundance. He, he told Israel, he says, when you go into the, the promised land in, uh, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 11, he said, you will have days of heaven upon the earth. How are you going to live in heaven? You're going to live in abundance. How did Adam and Eve live in the garden? In abundance. How are we supposed to live? What is God's purpose and plan for us on this earth? It's to live in abundance. I'm telling you what, I want you to get this in your spirit because if you do, you won't be satisfied with anything less. What you are satisfied with, you will live with. If you're satisfied with being sick, you will stay sick. If you're satisfied with struggling to pay your bills, I got news for you, you're going to stay there. You're going to stay there. Don't be satisfied with anything less than what Jesus died on the cross, took the stripes on his back, became poor for us, and wore a crown of thorns on his head to provide for us. What Jesus went through was horrific. He paid the price for sin. You don't have to live in sin. For sickness with the, with the beating he took on his back. He became poor when he was on that cross. They took, his, they took everything he had, including his clothes. When you're naked on a cross, let me tell you something, folks. You're as poor as poor can be. And that's what Jesus was when he was on the cross. He became poor so that we could become rich. Read 2 Corinthians 8 9. And he took a crown of thorns on his head. The thorns in uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 17 is a sign of the curse of the land, a hard life. He took that on his head and they beat him with sticks. They put those thorns on his head and then beat him on his head with, with sticks so that we would not have to live a hard life. He has totally redeemed us. And I'm telling you, before he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. And I mean to tell you, it is finished. You don't have to live in sickness and poverty and broke and barely getting along. You're supposed to live in abundance. And you should not be satisfied with anything less. Most Christians live short of God's blessings because they're satisfied with living like that. Not me. I want everything God has for me on this earth. 
so that I can be a blessing to other people. You can't be a blessing to anybody else if you're broke. We give money away. We do things for people. We pay for stuff. The reason we do is because we live in abundance. Amen. Amen. We pay the bills. Somebody has to pay the bills. The people who live in abundance pay the bills. Most Christians are not living in God's blessings. They say, oh, Pastor Jim, we're so blessed. They can't pay, they can't keep the lights on. I, I know people very well, right up the road from us. They don't pay the bills. They can't pay the bills. No money. Every every time, they they'll, then eventually they'll come turn the lights off. And when the lights go off, then they'll run down there and they'll scrape up enough money just to get the lights back on. They live that way. And you're okay with that. Not me. Not me. I'm not living that way. I don't think we're supposed to live that way. You, The first thing you get into your spirit is that God wants you to live in abundance. When you get that into your spirit, you call me. You call me, and I'll start speaking abundance over you. I speak abundance over my partners. I speak abundance over my church, and the people in my church are living in abundance. Now, let me tell you, that's the way they're supposed to live. There's a few of them in there that haven't gotten a hold of it yet, but the, a lot of them have. I'm telling you, we got people in our church, you wouldn't believe how they live. They're supposed to live that way. Glory to God. Amen. If you need help with this, well, you know what? Somebody says I'm preaching the gospel of, of heresy. Well, then you have to accuse Jesus of doing that. Did Jesus preach heresy when he said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly? I don't think so. That was the gospel. All I'm preaching is what Jesus said. Glory to God. You, you think that this message of abundance is heresy, you'll stay broke. Or you will wind up broke, let me tell you. You will wind up broke. If, you're, if, you, if you think this, that the God, Christians are supposed to live broke, you will wind up broke. I guarantee it. Because the devil will get your money. He will get your stuff. He'll take everything you have. Don't let that happen. Hey, go to my website, increasenow.com. Get a hold of me. Tell somebody about us. If somebody you know is sick or somebody you know is broke, have them call me. Give them my phone number. I'll pray for them. We will get them out of that poverty and out of that sickness and we will get them into abundance. Huh? Hey, glory to God. Lord, we just love you so much today. We just praise your holy name today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done. In Jesus' name, Huh? Glory to God. My phone number is right on our website, increasenow.com. Hey, go out there today. Make it a wonderful day. And remember, all of our partners have access to me 24-7. I mean, they call me up till midnight. I am always available to my partners. I believe that when you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. Glory to God. Make it a great day today. And remember this, God's word will save your soul Heal your body and pay your bills.